Jesus and sacrifice. Thanks for watching and have a good night. And finally on this Friday, after losing nearly everything, a couple moved from Michigan to open their dream diner in Walland. The reward was worth the risk. 10 News reporter Sean Franklin has their story. Hi guys, how was your sandwiches? Good? Good. There are dreams you have when you're asleep. We did not know we were going to take off like we did. And then there are dreams. My husband gets here at 5 in the morning. We leave at 10 o'clock at night. You live. These local people have just embraced us. And it's been awesome. Kim and Glenn Watkins followed their dreams. We do breakfast all day, and then we have our gourmet hamburgers. They opened a diner on Highway 321 in Wallen. I have yet to get anything that wasn't absolutely delicious. But dreaming big usually comes with a risk and a reason. He was the love of our life. He was our only child. Blonde hair, blue eyes, who looked like a little surfer. Eight-year-old Hayden inspired it all. He passed away a week before his ninth birthday and probably the hardest thing that we'll ever go through in our lives. Hayden suffered from adrenal leukodystrophy, a rare hereditary disease that destroys a crucial part of the brain. Multiple bone marrow transplants weren't enough. He died in February of 2015. The very last thing that he has said to us in the hospital before he went into a two month coma, I was snoring, sleeping on the couch in his hospital room and he started to giggle. And my husband got up and went over there to see what was going on and joined in on the fun. And he's like, daddy, we're gonna catch that bear someday. So the diner was born. So when we found this place, it was just instantly my husband and I looked at each other and was like, oh my gosh, Snoring Bear Diner. Giving life to a dream to remember a life lost too soon. In Wallen, Sean Franklin, 10 News. What a beautiful story to share. And the Watkins are planning to open a charity that helps parents pay bills after their kids pass away. Kim says she hopes that will start in the next couple of weeks.